the an aircraft a modern aircraft a look like a modern aircraft is the electronic flight instrument system so today we are going to study about the electronic flight instrument system what is electronic flight instrument system students electronic flight instrument system consists of different displays which come from the different aircraft systems and the uh, pilot and the different mechanics as well as the navigators are being informed from the different systems uh, which uh, which are giving their displays on in the cockpit an aircraft which is equipped with a electronic flight instrument system that aircraft will be called as a glass cockpit aircraft so in a glass cockpit aircraft what we are having we are having eadi ehsi ecan dear students the left hand side electronic flight instrument system is related to the pilot and the right hand side ehsi and the eadi is related to the copilot and the middle portion of that is related to is common for both and that is related to the ecam now we discuss each of these individually and we would could uh, i would like to give you a good knowledge of these uh, displays as much as possible so eadi electronic attitude director indicator is a system which can also be called as the primary flight display this is the display which gives the information to the pilot about the attitude of the aircraft means to say that how the aircraft is yawing how the aircraft is pitching and how the aircraft is rolling at the same time the aircraft uh, aircraft's uh, height aircraft vertical speed indication aircraft uh, air speed indications aircraft um, uh, directions each and everything is uh, possible in this display so this is the primary flight display which gives you the flight information to the pilot and this is the primary flight display which gives the primary information related to the flying to the pilot the second portion of our electronic flight instrument system is the ehsi this is the ehsi ehsi stands for the electronic horizontal situation indicator at the same time the electronic horizontal situation indicator is also called as the navigation display navigation display as the name describes that the navigation display contains the information related to the navigation here in this example we are having a navigation display in which different color represents the weather information that what kind of weather information is there on the aircraft it's obvious that the weather radar information is also being displayed on the navigation display and the different maps different uh, next way and different way points marked by the pilot and the different flight routes are also available on the ehsi ecam is a third flight instrument system which provides which provides information related to the engine and this ecam stands for the engine centralized aircraft mon uh, uh, monitoring ecam is also called as the ecas on different aircrafts what we get what the pilot gets information on the ecam it is related to the engine information engine parameters these are the total inlet temperatures egt's rpms n1 n2 and the um, oil pressures and oil temperatures the engine temperatures all are and engine pressures and thrust information all is related to this ecam display now coming towards the uh, right hand side that is related to the copilot copilot and the pilots pfds and the nds are eadi and ehsi are same for the copilots eadi and ehsi but the difference is that the outward displays are for the eadi and the inward displays are for the ehsi and the centralized is one for the engine information so that's all about the uh, main information related to the cockpit in which we are having the ehsi displays now moving forward we are having a schematic diagram in this schematic diagram we are having a schematic display of the system in which we can show 
that how the EHSI, e EFIS means electronic flight instrument system works. In, in the electronic flight instrument system, we get the different aircraft systems provide the information to the pilot symbol generators and the pilot symbol generators is related to the both EODI EHSI and display controllers are common these display controllers control the display of EADI and the EHSI so different aircraft system would provide their information to the pilot symbol generator and later on we would discuss something about these pilot symbol generators these pilot symbol generators would provide the information to the EADI and the EHSI we are having three symbol generators these three symbol generators are for the for example this symbol gen generator is related for the pilot's display system this is related to the co-pilot display system and this sim simple centralized system generator is related to the ECAM as well the pilot and the co-pilot display systematic diagram is same so we move forward here we are having a complete picture of our electronic flight instrument system we discuss it in a one by one as we discussed earlier that the flight deck is having types of displays here we are having the primary flight display these two are the primary flight displays these primary flight displays are for this is for the pilot and this is for the co-pilot at the same time we are having the navigation displays in on the inner side which are for the pilot and the co-pilot both the ecam upper ecam and the lower ecam are the lower ecam is also called as the sd or the situation display as well how they work now we are going to discuss about these things these displays gets information from the dmcs these dmcs are these dmcs are the display management computers means to say the display displayed on these pfds and these are having a computer based information these computers are called as the dmcs one two three so here it's very clear that the dmc1 is for the pilot dmc2 is for the co-pilot and dmc3 is providing information for the ecam system from where these dmcs gets information these dmcs get information from the system data acquisition computers these system data acquisition computers they are two in numbers these system data acquisition computers gets information from the different aircraft systems for example these aircraft systems are sensors in the computers input for the navigation and the auto flight system engine fatigue systems and the fuel quantity at the same time here we are having the aircraft system sensors and the computer inputs for red, uh, red warning lights red warnings flight phase computation aircraft system uh, synoptic displays and the dftrs same is like here now the third phase is our warning computers you know that we are having the flight warning computers these flight warning computers gets information from different aircraft systems and they display the warnings related to these systems on the flight deck we are having the warning mechanism of our aircraft in this way that these warnings can be visual as well as the oral oral display uh, oral warnings would be in the form of uh, different warning voices as well as the different types of tones but the visual displays are having three lights these are the master warning lights in the form of red color caution warning light is in the car, uh, color of uh, amber color and uh, white or green lights are there for the uh, status so that's all about the uh, main main uh, electronic flight instrument systems and electronic flight system uh, system is being uh, i think you have now now you have good information about the electronic flight system, uh, aircraft system in which how they were how they works and how they get different information from the different aircraft systems and what is the role of the 
display management computers moving forward we are having the practical example of our uh, electronic flight instrument system how they work in the uh, flying aircraft here is an example of the uh, pfd or the primary flight display in the primary flight display we are having a here you can see that the EADI, here you can see that the aircraft height bar which is in the form of a, a bar. This bar is moving as the height is gained and this bar moves downward as the uh, aircraft loses heights. At the same time the aircraft speed indicator is also being displayed here. We are having the mode selected for the aircraft, which mode is in the active form and flight management computers mode is being displayed here in that in, uh, in this time the flight management computer is in the in the mode of speed and the lateral navigation and the vertical navigation path. This is the heading display that the, what is the present heading of the aircraft. On the right side we are having the navigation display properly we are having a navigation display in which we are having the different uh, waypoints for example this is a waypoint which is uh, which is on the height of 5000 uh, feet this is this is active waypoint and this is the passive waypoint here is the heading and some other informations related to the navigation for example the vr1 is active dme is active flight management computer is active and which part of the we are uh, two is also active and uh, different information which is related to the navigation map navigation displays are also being displayed on the navigation display so this is the practical example of the uh, navigation display now another example of uh, navigation display that was a classic example of uh, in which we are having a display like uh, the uh, in which the classical display system is being adopted. In this synoptic display, airspeed is being in, uh, indicated in the form of uh, a dial. Here the climb rate is being displayed in the electronic form. Here is the altitude, at, altitude of the aircraft is being displayed in the electronic form. But the uh, classical dial system is being adopted in, the, in this part. The DME information is being displayed here in VOR and the DME and the heading and the indigenous compass system is being displayed here in this another example of the map is also available map is being displayed on this system and on the same page we are having a EADI which provides the attitude of the aircraft so this is all uh, practical all about the practical examples of the aircraft at the end now we conclude our lesson what we are having on, in our conclusion, we are having Today we have discussed about the electronic flight instrument system In electronic flight instrument system, we discussed about the EHSI and the EADI which are the main part of the electronic flight instrument system These EHSI and the EADI gets information from the symbol generators and symbol generators provide a good uh, symbols related to the aircraft uh, systems with being displayed on the in the form of EUDI or in the EHSI. With this, thank you very much. I hope you would like this and you have got the information related to the electronic flight instrument system. Thank you very much.